Jedi stars Rachel McAdams and Cillian Murphy, or Killian Murphy, and the plot of Red Eye is Rachel McAdams is this hotel manager, and she had just went to her mother's funeral, I think it was her mother's funeral, and she's on her way back to Miami on a Red Eye flight. However, she meets this other passenger, okay? And this passenger seems nice, and he's cool, and all that stuff, and you could tell these two might try and hit it off, but once, not even after the plane takes off, the passenger actually hells, holds Rachel McAdams' father, basically as, as a hostage, while he enlists her help in an assassination plot to assassinate a uh, Homeland Security personnel in Miami so now she has to get out of a sticky situation and save not only her father but the leader's life and family as well this movie is so fucking underrated man and it comes to us from the late Wes Craven it's so weird to say that now that man easily had another 30 to 40 years of his life ahead of him and it's a shame but man I must say, when I remember seeing this movie in theaters, I loved it. Red Eye is a true thriller at its best. Great acting all around, especially on Rachel McAdams, who probably just came off the notebook the year before. Killian Murphy, or Cillian Murphy, tomato, tomato, however you want to say his name, coming off of Batman Begins just two months earlier, back in June, because this movie was released in August of 2005 this means this movie is now 10 years old wow how time flies get it time flies <laughs> anyway yes love this movie I, I love the suspense of just not holding everybody hostage you got the person literally right next to you and she can't go nowhere she can't do nothing her only obstacle that's in her way is the person sitting next to her and the person outside her father's house, okay? And I love the, the little things of a movie that really makes the plot a lot more accessible and sometimes more difficult for the character involved. Like, let's say a plane hits a, a stormy weather and then the air phone she's using goes out. So what does she do? She bullshits basically to make a diversion but but of course the little things he knows that another passenger's phone has also has fucked up so if his is fucked up hers is probably fucked up I love little shit like that it's awesome okay and you guess you do got your cliche triple triple cliche typical run scene where the girl trips and the moment she did that, when I was, we watched this in the movie there, I remember my auntie going, of course they have her trip. And I'm like, shut up, Tanya. This is a good movie. Shut up. Okay? Let, let that slide a little bit. That's an airy fucking horror movie. Alright? I didn't say that out loud, but in the back of my head, I was thinking about it. And to this day, I still enjoy Red Eye for what it is. An awesome, well-acted, well-directed, well-put-together thriller and for that reason alone red eye will get a b plus rest in peace west craven let me know what you guys think about red eye down below did you like it did you hate it i shall see y'all in the next one